Uh, well, I am uh, Congressman John Hall uh, from the 19th Congressional District, and I ran two years ago because uh, my wife told me to stop yelling at the TV. Uh, she said, I'm on your side, just stop yelling at me, change the channel, or get up and do something. And uh, uh, I was concerned at the time that um, the policies of the first six years of the Bush administration where they uh, Republican Congress had been taking us uh, toward economic crisis, toward diplomatic and military crisis, toward a health care crisis, an education crisis, an energy crisis. And uh, uh, after two years of serving, I can say that uh, although we have some accomplishments and the House has been able to, uh, to change some things for the better, there's still much change that's needed. And, uh, and I'm running for re-election because I want to continue working for that change. Uh, the successes I would list as uh, uh, passing the first increase in gas mileage standards for automobiles in the United States in 32 years, or CAFE standards, they're called. Uh, it's been a long time since the gas crisis of the 70s when we thought about alternative sources of energy and then quickly forgot about it again when the uh, OPEC states per pumped so much oil they drove the price back down to $8 a barrel and everybody went, I guess we don't need solar or wind or any other alternatives, let's go back to just driving bigger cars and, uh, and faster cars. and So that's one thing. We raised the minimum wage for the first time in 10 years. We passed the first Water Resource Development Act, which is, has to do with flood control, over the President's veto, by the way, uh, water projects, which include uh, some things very important to Orange County, like uh, uh, flooding on the Wall Hill, the Delaware, the Minnesink. Uh, we were able to, uh, to pass that bill after seven Congresses, or seven years of Congress not being able to uh, pass one. Uh, and uh, we passed the College Cost Reduction Act. Uh, uh, the most important thing probably for me as uh, chairman of the, the Veterans Subcommittee on Disability Assistance and Memorial Affairs was that I was able to put together with a year and a half of hearings, uh, author, get co-sponsors -sponsor for, and get unanimous passage for 29 to nothing for my Veterans Claims Modernization Act to cut down on the backlog of uh, 800,000 plus veterans who are waiting for their claims to be decided. Uh, and that's particularly uh, unfortunate at this time we have so many uh, seriously wounded veterans coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, that law, by the way, was passed unanimously also in the Senate and last Friday signed into law by the President. So I'm proud to say as a freshman legislator that I was able to get a major rehaul of the way the VA processes uh, applications for benefits. And uh, I think that's a big accomplishment for one term, and uh, that's the way I go at things, whether it's working locally with individuals who come to our office for help, or whether it's working on the big issues. I, uh, I basically work until I get results, and uh, I've worked harder at this job than I ever have before, and I ask for your support and your vote for another two years.